calligraphers usually employ a special kind of paper that is already primed to allow for the smooth flow of special ink. They also carve their own pens to suit their unique styles. Aisha agreed to demonstrate for us, both in Arabic and in English. Okay, Eleanor, so you're going to give me a little bit of a sample of your work, right? Okay. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to demonstrate a very short phrase that was written usually by beginning calligraphy students, and it, it's an Arabic um, supplication, and it says, Lord, make it easy and do not make it difficult. I like that. Lord, may it end in goodness. Yeah, this is, this is a phrase. It's actually very difficult because I've been practicing it because I haven't done it in a long time. Arabic alphabet flows from right to left. Aisha explains that unlike the English alphabet, it relies on horizontal strokes. English, on the other hand, is written from left to right and comprised of sweeping vertical strokes. She is a master in both techniques. Aisha Holland has eloquently combined both sensibilities to arrive at her own unique Latin style. Here she demonstrates her trademark writing. After that, I decided to give it a hand. The sweep of the Arabic letters seemed daunting, but I was eager to attempt a few strokes. All right, Eleanor, so now we're moving on to the part where you need to teach me something about calligraphy. Okay. How to do it, actually. Okay. Well, would you, would you like me to show you the tools Yeah, first? actually, because you make your own tools. Is that correct? Well, I don't make the reeds. The reeds come from nature. True. Um, and they, these reeds are not reeds that are found locally. They are found, basically, I buy them in Turkey. Mm -hmm. I believe they're grown in southern Iraq and Iran. Wow. And what I do do is get a very sharp knife. Right. And I trim down a nib. You can take the cheapest paper. You can take recycled photocopy paper. Right. You're making a surface so that you felt how smooth, right? You, yeah. Do you, did you feel that? See how smooth it is? Mm -hmm. You need that smooth like a wax surface paper. so that the pens can move. This is a burnisher. So it is actually polishing. I mean, I'm not doing it. You would really give it a lot of... Right. Uh... Now, what I do is I take the ink. Now, let me just show you something. I'm just going to dip in here and show you the first kind of element that you're going to want to be able to do, and that will just be a diamond like that, right? Let me just... Put your pen down. Just relax. Okay, now don't... Play around. That's one of the first things that people need to do is to feel free to experiment with the tool because, see, you'll have to dip in. Yes. Right. And one of the things you have to get used to in any calligraphic tradition is how often to dip. Right. It's a little tooth. Looks like an apostrophe. Okay, now it's going to go up. And now you're going to come, see that, so it's like, so it was apostrophe, come up, and that's like a wave, and now look at this, this is called a chanak, so it's like another bigger apostrophe, and then you have this thing called a chanak. Actually, that's very good. That's very good. I'm an natural, what can I say? Yeah, that's very good. I will, um, shall I correct it? I yes, could, I could get, get the out red, my, get the I, red Are out. you serious? I'll yes. get my red ink. I'm just going to do it one more time. Yes. And I want you to you. watch. What do you notice about the way? Okay. Did I do better the second time? Well, <laughs> here comes the red. 
I would say this one better repeated that stroke then. Yeah, that's not big enough. Right, this got a small. Every move matters in the practice of calligraphy. From the way one holds a pen to the subtle movement of the nib and even the direction of the stroke which is unique to every letter. I developed a new appreciation for the years of practice and dedication needed to make someone as skilled as Aisha Holland. After that, Aisha showed me a few gems from her collection. That piece says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim is like an invocation. It's a, it's a way to begin, mm -hmm. sort of um, in the name of God, the most merciful, the most compassionate. This is a style called muhakkak, and it's a very traditional composition of that word, okay. of those words, of that phrase. This is my favorite piece I've ever done. Like, really? I, I really feel like it came into balance and harmony. I really like the subtle, light, pale colors. Scribes were considered by many ancient cultures to be historians. Aisha Eleanor Holland, whether she pens in Arabic or English, preserves aspects of our culture and elevates mere words into signposts rife with beauty and meaning. Thank you.